Welcome! Today we are assembling the Performance Wall Mounted Storage Unit. You will begin by laying out your laminate pieces. Next, add your metal cam locks to the pre-drilled holes on the laminate. It is important to note that the arrow should be pointing towards the outer edge of the laminate. Next, you will add your metal pins to the pre-installed metal inserts. When you are ready to fit your laminate pieces together, you will begin by adding the back to one side gable and fastening both cams. The bottom piece is added next and all cams are tightened. When the back panel is added, it must be flush with the bottom, leaving a gap in the front so the doors can be added. Add the second side gable and fasten all cams. Next, using wood screws, you will secure the wooden blocks on the back of the cabinet. This braces the side and back panel together. We are now ready to mount the unit to the wall. Please note that the unit does not come with any mounting materials. These must be purchased separately. Measure and mark the surface that the unit will be mounted to and place the wooden wall cleat accordingly. For this demonstration, we are mounting to drywall. It is strongly recommended that you mount to a stud. This will ensure that the full weight of the storage cabinet can be held. Ensure the cleat is level and drill two pilot screws. Recheck your measurements to ensure it is level. Unscrew the pilot screws and remove the wall cleat. You will now drill out the two holes created by the pilot screws and place your anchors. For this demonstration, we are using toggles, which hold up to 260 pounds each. Ensure the wall cleat is placed with the wedged corner facing upwards and angling away from the wall. There should now be a gap at the top of the cleat. Recheck to ensure that the bracket is level and secure and adjust if necessary. We are now ready to lift and settle the unit onto the wall. The cleat on the back of the unit should slide easily over top of the cleat on the wall. A wood screw is now added. This simply prevents the cabinet from being lifted off the cleat. You can now add your plastic end caps to any exposed cams. There will be four on the bottom and four inside the unit. You may need to use a rubber mallet. We are now ready to assemble our storage cabinet doors. The hinges arrive in two parts. Slide the parts together and tighten the top screw as shown. The hinges can now be added to the doors using the metal screws provided. The doors can now be attached to the storage unit by aligning the hinge to the guide holes in the unit and tightening the screws. Music 
Your doors may need to be adjusted slightly. This is accomplished by loosening or tightening the two horizontal screws. The left hand screw moves the hinge left or right. The right hand screw moves the hinge in and out. The final step is to add rubber stoppers to the bottom edge of the unit. Simply peel off the adhesive backing and apply. Your installation is now complete.